Usually when I'm making my chocolate flourless cake, I use a lot of bowls, especially because I need to melt my chocolate, but not in the Cuisine Companion. The Cuisine Companion is going to melt my chocolate and mix the cake all in one. First of all, let's melt this chocolate with the butter. So 350 grams of dark chocolate. So that can go into the bowl along with 250 grams of butter, which I've cubed. And then I'll place the lid on top. I'll set the Cuisine Companion to speed three at 85 degrees. And we'll put that on for four minutes. All right, let's have a look at this chocolate. Oh, fantastic, perfectly melted. Now it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. So in order, I like to add the caster sugar, followed by the nut meal. Now this is almond meal, but you could absolutely use hazelnut meal or walnut meal, and you can mill it in the Cuisine Companion too. And now I'll add six whole eggs, and now we simply place the lid back on. I'm going to place this on pastry program P1, which is going to take two minutes and 30 seconds for everything to combine nicely. Now that the program is finished, all we need to do is take the cake out of the bowl and then place it into a lined tin. I've also preheated my oven to 160 degrees. Now this cake is going to cook for one hour and 10 minutes or until it's completely set and crunchy on the top. Have a look at that delicious fudgy chocolate cake. I like to serve this with a little bit of salt on the top just to accentuate that chocolate flavour, if you like, and a little bit of cocoa powder. And then you can't have chocolate cake without a little bit of cream. This is creme fraiche on the top and some fresh berries. These are just little raspberries that is probably the simplest chocolate cake you'll ever make. It takes about six minutes to do from melting the chocolate to mixing the cake. And by the way, it's gonna be the best tasting chocolate cake you'll ever had, I promise you.